Welcome back everyone to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth plus times 7 x2 divided by 3 multiply the 1 and here we are what am I talking about right now so what should we do I've done greedy I've done all that stuff I feel like we should start doing some challenge runs we got back ass words April Fools Pokemans Ultra Hard and Pong let's do it backwards I guess not back asswords though. I don't want to play back asswords. I saw that one. It don't look fun. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> the tier eight though. Watch that bitch. Activate. Hit him. Woo. Look at that. I don't know what the uh oh god. I don't know what uh, what the da 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 what is. You know the time in between is. That doesn't seem that bad. When's if I got like a tier upgrade? I think that would work out. You know what's not gonna work out? This. This ain't working out. Yeah, this ain't working out. All right, let's try this here. There you go. There we go. Just had to do some plays real quick. I'm pretty sure there's no item rooms. Yeah, there's no item rooms. Holy shit. Look, there's not even a boss health bar anymore. What happened? What even happened? Tears plus shot speed up. Here we go. That's more like it. Oh, look at that. Got that shit bouncing around in a circle. Did I miss a tinted rock? Something looked like a tinted rock there. Like right when I went in, I noticed something. Whatever, we should be fine. Oh my god. Uh, our damage is 100. So I don't think this run is going to be hard in any way possible. Just straight up, it's not going to be hard. Because having 100 damage, being able to like pretty much insta kill everything is always, always, you know set up for a fairly easy run I mean we may take damage here and there but I don't expect losing from taking that damage all right we are gonna have to play a little pong right now oh ooh, ooh. look at that shit but we can pretty much just like run through the game try me asshole <laughs> that boy got tossed like salad all right <clears throat> do I want any of this probably not to be honest I'll save the Joker cart for the next floor. Are we going all the way? Maybe we'll be going all the way to the cathedral. Just because the setup is too good for this. But, uh, you know, I want to talk about us when we're going back to anti-birth. We're going to go back to anti-birth as soon as I finish pretty much all the challenge. I know I know uh, the games can coexist. Ooh, this is 10 rock. I know the two games can coexist. Like, the saves and everything can coexist. I just, I'm scared to do that. There's possibility for things to mess up even though you know uh it's pretty i think i don't know if it's actually 100 percent a feature but uh anti-birth on their page it does say you know that they can coexist i don't know about afterbirth plus but they said uh anti-birth safe file can coexist with uh afterbirth safe file they didn't say anything about plus but i'm gonna guess plus is just in there too oh i can't even destroy poo with one shot? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Do I have a bomb? I want to blow that up. I want to blow that up. So I can get that tinder rock and get some sweet spirit hearts. Wow, I almost hit him though. What about in here? Oh shit. What's if I buy this? Oh shit. <laughs> well, buy it. I don't know. I said buy it. Look at that thing just hover around. Oh man. <laughs> Causing terror. Causing terror all around here. Okay. Oh my god, I almost got hit by that. I didn't even, I couldn't even see. It was behind my scythe. Dude, this scythe takes up a lot of room. Shit, maybe I shouldn't have used that. My character looks really cool. Oh shit, that's how we can tell when we can shoot another one. His eyes. Wait. No, yeah, definitely we can tell by his eyes. There's a little bit of delay after though. I do want to go get that tinted rock. I'm going to do that. I expect this to be a fairly fast run. Maybe like 20 minutes maximum. Guess I'll take this. I don't really have a choice, do I? Uh, deal with the devil. What can we get here? Chill out there. Not much, can we? None of those look interesting to me. None of them look like they can exactly make this run go even more over the top than it is right now. But I'll try my best. So I got five full hearts. Oh, God. This is going to be great. Hey, guys, come over here. Over here. Fucking dumbasses. Oh my god, it's getting stuck right here. Oh, there we go. Nice. It like somehow snuck through. Okay. Ooh, look at that. 
Hey man, come over here. Come over here. All right, I'll bring. I'll bring it to you. If you wanna play, if you wanna play tough, then we're gonna play tough. And I'll run at you with my gigantic tear. That's that's playing tough to me. Oh sh sweet, sweet. I love that. One makes you smaller. Let's see if this boss can withstand the power. Come on, you gonna give me a segmented boss? Like, come on. Crack jacks. What is that? Damon's tail. All right. Can me a fight with Krampus? Ooh, this actually might be really good. This might be really good. Does it just get bigger and bigger? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. It does get pretty goddamn big. And uh, I hear that very often. <laughs> no. Alright, let's see what's popping off in here. Oh, fuck y'all, yeah, reroll enemies. Reroll. <laughs> Suck on that shit. Big bitch hands. I bet that bitch don't even wash her hands. She a dirty. She a dirty, nasty, fucking meaty claw ass. <laughs> meaty claw ass bitch. All right. So we do have the ability to reroll enemies. Not like it matters. There's not too many enemies I'm going to run into and be like, I don't want to fight this. Like, they're all pretty killable if you, if you couldn't tell by now. Maybe here? Maybe that's a good reroll? I guess. It was okay. Ow, I actually, I actually took my first hit of damage. Okay. The I, A lot of my screen is low-key getting blocked by the scythe. Oh my god, that was close. Oh, there was a tender rock in there. Can I reroll you guys? No. Be assholes about it then. Oh, fuck yeah, Synthoil. My damage cannot go any higher than it is. Hey, might as well make it a speed run. Am I right? Hold on, I do want that tainted rock. Because I did lose some health. Okay, they're not going to give me anything. Hold on, I know where it is. I know where it is. Whew. Remember when I was like, I know where it is. It's true. That's not going to matter. We'll just take the evil up. So let's head down to the next floor. Which is mom. Uh, and this should bring us right to the womb. Wait, let's check what's it popping off in here. Then we'll go right to the womb. Anzus. Okay. Haglas. Another Anzus. So we'll just go straight to the womb. And we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. So I don't know if I talked about this in a Terraria video or what, but I'll talk about it now. So I bought sound foam because I moved my new desk I'm kind of in a corner now a more like secluded corner and uh, with that being the case now there's a little bit more uh, reverb and stuff going on in here a little bit more echoing bouncing off of the corners because the other corner I was in before it wasn't really a corner it was like a little tiny corner but now I'm in like it's a little tiny corner that ended off really quick now I'm just straight up in a corner so a lot more echoing and reverb maybe you guys won't hear it like oh my oh, oh man get me out of here this is hell get me out holy shit okay of course we went into the wrong area what was i talking about so i ordered uh i ordered a good set of sound foam so i can you know try and get rid of the reverb but uh, the adhesive, which I should have just went out to get, adhesive two-sided tape, which I easily could have just went out and go bought somewhere, uh, I think. Pretty sure, yeah. I think I went to a store recently and I saw some, but I was trying to get a specific specific one. I was either going to get the like spray can adhesive or I was just going to you know, try to find a wall-friendly one. But, uh, oh my god, fuck me. So... I ordered it on Amazon too with the other with the the sound foam. Turns out, you know, with my fucking like shipping luck, uh, it got sent to the wrong facility, the wrong like U USPS facility, U.S. Postal Service facility. And you expect these guys to know what they're doing, right? I mean, they're USPS. Like, come on. But they sent it to the wrong facility, even though there's literally one like next door to me. Like, 
If I go outside and walk like in one direction for two minutes, I'll be there. They somehow sent it to the wrong facility. And that's just great. So now I just have a bunch of sound foam and I can't hang it up. <laughs> and I would go out and buy some. Buy some more if it like if I didn't already have some here. It's already here. I guess I can refund it, but it's already here. I looked it up today. It's been like two days that it was supposed to actually come. And now it says it's coming in like it does it, it Amazon didn't even give me an estimated a new estimated delivery. It's just just like yeah. Uh it's supposed to come eventually. That's all they gave me. It just says like uh, estimated delivery was the 10th but then now it just says the 13th and that's all it says <laughs> it says 10 dash 13 one of those days but it's not giving a specific date it's just some two-sided fucking tape dude this is the end of the run we can't we can't go any farther than we are right now so I hope you guys enjoyed my story so first like oh, I don't remember what it was I know there was an original story I know there's the DX racer story and there was another story before that, I'm pretty sure. Shipping problems, man, am I right? And I wonder why I still buy stuff from anywhere that ships. I don't know. It's just, I trust Amazon and their sellers. Who wouldn't? Amazon's fucking awesome. But, you know, sometimes I enjoy getting fucked over. I don't like that, uh, was it DX Racers or, like, their mail company that they're with is, uh... What is it? Is FedEx. So every time I see a FedEx truck, I'm like, wow, these fucking assholes. These fucking assholes couldn't knock on my door and be like, hey, your uh, DX racer is here. Oh, shit. We can go to the womb? We don't have a choice, do we? I'm not, not womb. We're, I'm not fighting Hush. We do have a choice. Wait, why, why, can it, why didn't it let me just go straight down the shield? I wanted, all right, whatever. We'll fight Isaac. I'm interested to see how this uh, greed slash super greed room turns out. Hopefully easy. Shoot more! Oh my god. It's the rocks. Oh shit. We gotta, oh, there we go. We just killed a greed. One of the greeds in like seconds. Here we go. Get that one. Get that one right there. Hey! Shooper the whoop. I'll take a shooper the whoop. Why not? That's more damage I can put out. While I wait, if like they don't already instantly die. Look at that. Whew. This runs a little bit too easy. There's gotta be more to it. Are they sending me to the chest? Are they sending me like all the way to the end, or is this just like one of those runs that are like just straight up fun? Why'd I do that? I could have used it somewhere and then whatever. It's like it's not gonna matter. Like, look. <laughs> it's dead. Hey, Isaac. Hold up. Give me a second. There you go. Uh, give me, give me. <laughs> he didn't even get to get out of his first form. Oh, what do we, what do we get? Wait, what? All right. Turns out you were supposed to take a specific path to the cathedral. And when I say specific path, apparently skipping mom fucked this over because we weren't able to get the Polaroid. Oops. We get Greed's gullet. All right. I'll tell you what we get right there. We get Greed's gullet. That's all I can say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Mano go!